today's parents, I don't know how they do it if with kids in sports and stuff. I mean, they are, I'm talking about Kelly and her family, Amy and her family, they are constantly, constantly, they work full time, they, they participate with their kids' sports, their, both those girls coach, uh, it's just, so Kelly and Derek and Katrina left on Friday because Katrina had a uh, tournament in Waterloo on uh, Friday and Saturday. And then John and I and Hunter came back yesterday. Um, we make it quite a trip. It's usually a little under six hours, and we stop and eat and <laughs> see the signs. We didn't get home until about 10, 30, 11 o'clock last night, but had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. So we're back. Here I am. <laughs> it's Chamber Talk. We do it every Monday morning, and uh, we'll start with uh, Friday night. You mentioned that you were out of town, but Lindsay did an excellent job uh, I know. on the uh, lighting ceremony. And, of course, we had Darren Hamilton earlier in this morning in the studios talking about the honor that was bestowed upon him. And uh, uh, come as a shock to him when Santa relayed the message. It, it was... Um you know, it's like uh, the citizen of the year type thing, too. I mean, you have to really work to keep it a secret from the person and talk to the family and uh, make sure they, they get the person there without telling them them why. And uh, his was kind of out of the ordinary, if you uh, know what I'm say, saying, to uh, figure out the way to honor him with that and get the lights on without giving anything away to um, without giving anything away. <laughs> <laughs> without giving anything away. It, it was, I wish, I, I mean, I'm so glad we were up in Minnesota and had a wonderful time, but I would have loved to have been there for that Friday night. It and as we came into town last night, I says, oh, honey, we have to drive around the square. It's the first time we're going to see the lights. And it just looked, I love our square. It was a great crowd. And again, Santa was uh, very happy to accept the honor on behalf of Darren on Friday night. And so. did it a little differently yeah. this time. Uh, he was able to spend a little bit more time with the, the kids as he was walking back to the candy cane house and clicking his fingers and the lights came on just Fun, fun, fun. Truly magical. Yes, I'm sure it was. All right, let's jump right into it. Uh, the week that will be the Monday morning newsletter for the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. What's the first on your list? Well, I'm going to um, talk about the Trees of, of Lights. Uh, we, well, boy, we've been doing this for years. I want to say 10 to 15, maybe 14, something like, like that. Trees of Lights. And it's a way to uh, give a donation for the Christmas lights. And not only the Christmas lights, but the decorations and the upkeep and the maintenance and all that of all the decorations in uh, Central Park. And there are a couple that we put in other places, too, down in Heritage Park and also um, Howard Park also. Uh, or I should say Heritage Courtyard and then Howard Park. And so uh, there's a form at the office, um, meaning the chamber office at 204 West Broadway. Uh, there's one online at fairfieldiowa.com. Um, we will get one to you. We will fax one to you, email one to you. You can buy uh, bulbs from the cost of 10 to uh, 500. Uh, they're for donations, but you can also uh, do, do it as a memorial also. Uh, so if there is something you want to, uh, someone, some people you want to uh, recognize, uh, some do deceased, some do uh, their grandchildren, just, um, it's just a nice way to make a donation for Fairfield Central Park Christmas donations and at the same time recognized someone you want to recognize it's interesting and we kind of touched on this with darren earlier this morning when we spoke with him about uh, the lights so we see them they're out for uh, 35 40 days every year they'll be taken down after the first year and um they always look so nice but there's a lot of maintenance and upkeep and, it really and is. he mentioned the, the person who's sort of responsible for that um but we uh, i think uh, 
we take them for granted, and there is a lot of uh, cost and upkeeping and housing and replacing bulbs and things of that nature, isn't there? There's the bulbs. There's the greenery. There's the... Uh, we try to... Uh, keep a tradition with the older decorations too. I mean, the decorations that we have in the park right now can no longer be found. And those pieces are take extraordinary care and upkeep to, I mean, on the, by the caroler's house, you'll have the um, male higher man uh, lost his leg one year. That whole leg had to be rebuilt. We've had uh, reindeer legs and antlers and, you know, all that type stuff. The greenery swags, um, the, the spotlights. I mean, there's just when you walk around, the white arc arched um it looks like a stained glass it's white with all the white that all was redone a couple years ago too all the uh, wreaths that are on the street lights and all the bulbs uh there's so many of those also and those are all regrouped and revitalized um by the christmas committee and the uh, city of Fairfield also and and that's all raised by the tree of lights and there there's also a um, uh, I don't can't think of the name at First National Bank uh, where the jeans for a reason or oh, something jeans Friday yes yes and and you can make donations there also but you can also come into the chamber office also all right so Tree of Lights campaign go online to fairfieldiowa.com or give Nancy a call at 472-2111 and find out more all right let's jump right into it we have a new chamber member Southern Iowa Mental Health Center um they are a private nonprofit mental health center committed to providing high quality mental health services in s- southeast Iowa and northeast Missouri. They offer psychiatric services for adults, adolescents, and children, therapy ser- ser- services, also a peer run drop uh, center. It's called the Promise Center, supportive employment s- services. Um, they, their office is in. A Tumwa, but if you would like contact information for, for them, for Southern Iowa Mental Health Center and Executive Director Christina Shark, uh, it may be found on our chamber website, which is fairfieldiowa.com. Um, our spotlight, our member to member spotlight, and we have revitalized and revamped the member to member discount program also. We give a spotlight each week please know that that is something that is for every day of the year not just the week that we're spot lighting it for all our chamber members are receiving um member to member cards in the past not every employee was able to uh, receive them we have printed uh, over ten thousand of these cards and they are going to every single chamber member uh, employee. This week we are uh, talking about Jody's Touch. You have a two dollars off of a haircut if you are a chamber me- member with your member to member cards at Jody's Touch. A uh, wonderful place to have a haircut, um, manicure, all kind of things. Tis the season to get ready and get your haircut at Jody's Touch and use your member to member discount card. What's happening this week? Lots of Lots, lots are happening this week. Uh, Monday, today, there's a Business Leadership Network Community Forum at lunch at the Best Western of Fairfield Inn in Kokomo's Cafe. Uh, it's by the University of Iowa College of Public Health and the Business Leadership Workshop. So that is at Best Western. Um, there is a free football night at the Orpheum Theater at 7.30 tonight. Tuesday. What's happening on Tuesday? It's our Leadership Fairfield. Um, it's our December. And uh, it starts at 8 a.m. in the morning with networking, actually starting at 8.30 uh, then and going until 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, this month, it's communications and finances going fantastically well. Um if you have any questions about Leadership Fairfield, please call the Fairfield Chamber. 
TVT CPAs and Advisors is having a client appreciation open house from 3 to 6, and it's trivia night at the Orpheum Theater at 7 p.m. Wednesday is Kiwanis Club Fairfield meeting and program at the McElhaney House at 545. Guests are always welcome. Uh, if you are looking to join the Kiwanis Club, uh, please go to our website and you may find contact information so you're able to start attending the me meeting and programs. Open mic nights. There's one at Cafe Paradiso from 8 to 10, and then one at the Burning Oak from 10 to midnight. Open mic night. Um, Thursday, December 4th, is Icon Thursday with a slideshow of Spain, France, Italy, and Greece. As always, the doors open at 7.30 p.m. with the program starting at 8 then at the uh, Unity Gallery, the MUM Library at 7.30 is an exhibit of, um, now I'll say it in English because it's say a Ju Jung. I'm not quite sure if I said that right, so please excuse me. I'm not sure I heard it, says, it right. be a good boy. <laughs> Friday, Friday. This is the, um, when the chamber helps with the art walk. And we, we have chose Friday to help with the art walk because of the merchants. I mean, we really love to support our, our merchants. This is a wonderful time of the year for our merchants. And uh, so lots happening. There's going to be Santa in the candy cane house from 6 to 8. Uh, there's going to be complimentary hot chocolate and apple cider at Verizon. Wireless, cellular only from 6 to 7. We are having, the chamber is having a shop local, and the chamber is offering $500 worth of chamber gift certificates. Uh, you need to go into participating uh, chamber members. Uh, sign up. There is a sign in the window that says that they're participating in this. There's a, a, an entry forms and a box inside. And uh, let me tell you who is all participating in that. I have that here somewhere. Here we go. Adela's, America's Diamond, At Home Store, Bluefish, Brown's Shoe Fit, Casey's General Store South, Chickadee, Craven Cupcakes, Fairfield Art Association, uh, Fairfield Arts and Convention Center at their ticket office, Fairfield um, Flower Shop, Fairfield Farmers Market, Fairfield Jet Stop, Fairfield Nutrition, Flirt, Green Building Supply, Health and Wholeness, The Hideaway, Hy-Vee, Josie Hannes Design, Kim's Cottage, uh, Luckman Hardware, Overland, Orpheum Theater, Purple Star Entertainment, QPS uh, Employment Group, Revelations Cafe and Bookstore, Simply Said Design, Don Bechtel, Temp Associates, TM Information Center, and Verizon Wireless Cellulose Only. This started on Friday night at the Lighting Dedication and is going through, uh, you may enter all the way through su Sunday, through this next weekend. And then the Chamber is having a party. We're having a, a membership appreciation reception on December 11th, and we're going to draw for the win winners that night. You don't need to be present for, for that, uh, but that's when we're going to draw the name. And then what else is happening with the Art Walk? Well, they're having, let me get back my sheet here. I've got so much going on this, this, this week. <laughs> This is the Christmas City where art comes alive. There is going to be um, an artist drawing also. And um, you enter at the places where they are having art. And that's at Bluefish, Cafe, Chocolate Cafe, Fairfield Art Association, Gallery 56, Henders, Henderson's Custom Framing and Gallery, Josie Hannes De Design, and Sunrise Arts. Now that drawing is going to be that night, and it's going to be at Icon at um, 8.30 p.m. So you go to these places, there's art there, and then uh, you get one of their pieces of, of art. Uh, you can look at that on their web website, which is... 
Hmm. Fairfieldartwalk.org. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So there's lots happening. And we'll have June Lowenberg, uh, board president, here in the tomorrow. Bar, tomorrow yeah. morning. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping to be able to be here, but we're having our leadership fair, Fairfield. So um, more talk about that. Yeah. And, and, of course, Friday night, uh, part of that uh, overall celebration of the season is the uh, Holiday Ice Spectacular at the Fairfield Arts and Convention. It Center. is. So. It is. That's at 7.30 p.m. There's also Soapbox Speakeasy at Cafe Paradiso from 8 to, to 10. And then from 10 to midnight at Cafe Paradiso is a Christmas dance party. Saturday is Fairfield Farmers Market at the Senior Citizen Center from 9 to 2. And Santa visits children at the Orpheum Theater at 9 a.m. And what's happening at 10 o'clock at the Orpheum Theater? KMCD uh, Classic 96 Food Drive and Free Holiday Movie Frozen. Once again, KMCD is uh, sponsoring a um, providing a movie for the ch- children, allowing uh, lots of parents to shop at their leisure. Uh, all you need to do, Steve, is what? Come by. Yep. Uh, Santa will be there at 10 o'clock. Or, yeah, 10 o'clock. 10 no, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Yep. And then we'll have showings at 10 and 12.15 because we expect a huge over- uh, overflow of kids. So uh, 10 and 12.15 is what time will show Frozen. And admission is free with a donation of a non-perishable food item, which will go to the Lord's Cupboard. This is the largest um, box office Disney movie of all time. Crazy, isn't it? Which is Frozen. Oh, have you seen it? It's no, just I have really, not. It's really, in, in fact, when I we, watched two minutes of it last Friday. Two minutes on, of it. Online. That's, oh, I, no, I, really, I really, really like it. In fact, when John and I were flying back from L- London, that's the movie that I chose to watch was was fro- Frozen, so I'd be able to talk about it with the, the, the grandkids. <laughs> with two guys in the household, a 47-year-old <laughs> and a 13-year-old, ice princesses are probably not what we would choose. So, All I'm right, sure it's I'll great. concede to that. <laughs> what else is happening on s- Sunday? It's Knit and Crochet Group Go Jindy from 10 to 11. There's the Scenic Rivers Wine Trail Holiday Open House, uh, C- Cedar Valley Wine Winery from 11 to 5. Uh, there's going to be a biannual art auction at Icon from 1 to 4. And that night at Cafe Paradiso from 8 to 10 is Skunk River Madison Show. Sunday, December 7th, is Chocolate Sunday at the Fairfield Middle School from 2 to 4. Uh, they're having music um, and lots and lots and lots of cho- chocolate. It's a fundraiser for the... Um, School, school. I think it's for more than that. But uh, for more information, you're able to contact Sue Hucky. Uh, their information is on our chamber web- website. There's going to be gift baskets uh, that have been donated by local bi- businesses, families, and individuals, and they're all going to be for purchase. And the fundraising is for the drama, vocal, and instrumental departments. And it is an only parent-run fundraiser. So there's a lot of work that goes into that. That is Sunday, a chocolate Sunday at the Fairfield Middle School from 2 to 4. Then there's also at the Cafe Paradiso that night, 8 to 10 is Yojimbo. What's happening at the Orpheum Theater this week? Well, there is Dumb and Dumber 2, Tuesday through Thursday at 7 and also 9.30 p.m. And don't forget about Frozen on Saturday at 10 a.m. And did you say 12? 12? 12 15. 12 15. Yeah. Uh, it's free. Uh, just please bring canned uh, goods for the canned food drive for the um, Lord's Cupboard. Then, like we talked about, uh, there is a member appreciation reception on December 11th. Um, We have many, many chamber members. We have lots of new members over the past year. This reception is to recognize and honor all our members. It's a um, hors d'oeuvres and a cash bar. It's at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club uh, from uh, 5 to 7. We also recognize and uh, uh, have networking and meet and greet with our new members also. So mark your calendars for the uh, chamber member appreciation reception um 
the Business After Hours is December 19th from 4 to 7. Of course, the Chamber Office will be closed on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. The Ambassadors are having a Christmas party. Uh, we, we try to spread our activities among all our Chamber mem members. And one of our Ambassadors and new Chamber members this year is the Dew Drop. So we're going to have our Ambassador Party at the Dew Drop. Uh, that's going to be December 10th. And we're going to have uh, Isla Restaurant uh, cater the food for us out there. So it's going to be it's always a fun, fun time. Uh, last year, it was at the, the Sweet Spot. So uh, that's our ambassador holiday party. Don't forget about the Art Walk this week. Don't forget to stop at our local merchants and sign up for our Buy Local, um, Shop Local, $500 holiday giveaway. And again, we'll have June Lowenberg in tomorrow, uh, this same bad time, same bad channel, talking more about the Art Walk and all everything there and the uh, cooperative effort between Art Walk and the uh, Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. Busy, busy, busy time. Busy, busy, busy. All right. Yep. So busy we've run out of time. I know, Steve. So uh, thanks for coming in. And again, if you want more information, you can sign up for the newsletter. The week that will be the Monday morning newsletter. It'll come right to your email box or log on to fairfieldiowa.com or anytime. Give the chamber a call at 472-2111. Have a great week. Thanks. You too, Steve. It's Nancy Morrissey, our friend from the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce here on Chamber Talk.